Hello my friends, my name is DadCraft73 and welcome back to another episode of our Vanilla Minecraft Let's Play series. I hope you're having an amazing day, I hope you're taking care of yourself and you're doing alright. That is for sure and for certain. Today, we gotta get back on that train grind. Man, we've been messing around building sheep farms and messing around in the nether. It's time to get back to our our Minecraft train set. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait. Over there. We're going to be over there working at the quarry here in just a little bit. But first, we do have to sneak into the nether for a little bit of uh, messing around. So let's go do that together, maybe, you and me. Just for a minute, well, at least a little bit together. I don't want to do too much. Let's, let's go do that. Let's go. We have some fire resistance potions. We have two. That should be plenty. I have a little bit of inventory spot. I just need some blackstone. And I want like a truckload of it. Like five or six stacks of it maybe? I don't know. Something like that. What is this thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go into the nether. We're going to have to blast our way up out of our lava pit here and see if we can't fly around and find something cool. So let's do it together. It's always fun. It's better together, right? Isn't that what they say? Hello, pig guy. All right, we need to go up there. Here's a bunch of black stone, though, isn't it? Can I just have this? That's what that is, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Let me just rake in all this. I mean, I just, I need just a little bit. Well, maybe more than a little bit, but, I mean, this might be enough. It's like a pretty big vein. I don't want to spend too much time in the nether with you guys because it's so dark in here. I mean, it's to the point where, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I had to go pick up, oh, I don't even know if I want to tell you. I had to go pick up my daughter. Um, she was at a friend's, uh, like, they were having, like, some, I don't know, like, a cookout, I guess. Uh, you know, all, all, everybody was safe. Everybody was uh, apart from each other, and they were outside. Anyway, I had to go pick her up at um, her friend's house last night, and I had never been there before. So I was just using, like, Google Maps, whatever, to get there. And, man, I was having trouble seeing <laughs> road signs and stuff. I'm afraid that I might have to go to the optometrist. Well, oh, man, it's rough getting old. I do not recommend it. If you can avoid getting old, uh, do so at all costs because stuff starts falling apart. It just doesn't work as good anymore. Uh, that might also be because I spend, like, you know, 10 hours a day looking at a computer screen. But anyway, it's dark here in the nether. That was a long-winded way of saying it's dark here. We need more than this. So I'm going to grind out a bunch of blackstone. I'm going to get, I don't know, three or four stacks. It's probably going to be plenty. We'll just uh, use old rest record. You know why I'm here? What I need to do is make sure I go here. No. Oh, um, here? Oh, no, no. Yes. Okay, let's get that. Now uh, we get that. But isn't there... Ah, yeah. The old Get Chop 3 and the Sussex Digger. Oh, man, I'm so happy to see both of those. I thought we had lost them forever. I was all broke down. All right, so I'm going to just grind out a whole bunch more of this blackstone. I'm going to use it in my build today. we got to build the infrastructure to get... Oh, what's the deal? To get uh, the granite from a granite quarry into our trains, right? Into our train cars. So we're going to build, like... Uh, I don't know. Well, we'll talk about it later. Let me just go to work. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, so I have a bunch of blackstone. I mean, a good bit. Um, I found some in a chest. I also remembered that I had mined some basalt. So I want to see what this stuff looks like. Let's see if we can't get... What do they say you're supposed to do? Get like a block pallet? Can you turn this stuff on its side? You can, which is pretty cool. So there's that texture, that texture. I don't love those, but I think we can make some polished... Can we make like a couple of those maybe? And we'll see what they look like. Oh. They kind of look like wood, don't they? Sort of like a wood texture there. I don't... Um, these are... Maybe that's like for some columns. Maybe they look a little bit like run down. Maybe... Yeah, let's, let's see. Let's start off with that. Um, and then we're going to look at the Blackstone variants as well. Okay, so let's do this. Let's get a whole bunch of polished. Let's just go ahead and make 60 of them. All right, so... We've got two things that we have to worry about. So one is these, the, our train our train cars that we actually have to load, right? So they're going to come down the little, little spur track there, and they're going to get loaded there. But we also have the main line that's going to pass through here that is not necessarily picking up train car, or, you know, picking up anything from the thing. So that means whatever we build either has to span two tracks or it can it spans one but we can't have anything over here that would it, um, 
impact the main line. The cool thing, though, is we don't need to be too crazy because we can probably... I mean, these tracks... Let's see, if we even go... Hmm, we'd have to go, like, here, I guess. And then hope that nothing... I mean, that's probably okay. I, mean, I doubt we'll have anything riding down through here. So let's just make some pillars real quick. I don't know how high we need to go, but we have to go kind of high because the train might be hauling other stuff, right? It could have, or the, you know, the the train itself, the locomotive's got to come through, so we got to figure that out. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it might be. Kind of looks like steel, maybe. Yeah, I think it does look like steel. <laughs> I'm down. All right, let's go here and add one, two, three, four, five, six. That absolutely to me looks like old steel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and then maybe we can just pretend like it's logs and go across this way. Nope. Uh, let's pick this up and go like so. I, I love the fact that this looks like steel. <laughs> I mean, that's absolutely to me. See, we've got like a little bit of a blue outline on the end of it. Yeah, okay. So there's this. All right, and now let's see. We want to do one, two, three four, five, six, seven. Is this where we want this thing? Is this where we want it? Let's see. Well, first of all, is this even tall enough for stuff to pass under? Okay, so if we go off the tracks... Well, I'm stuck in here forever. Okay, let's see. If we go off the tracks... One, two, three, four, five, six. No, that is not tall enough. Ah, I jumped up there and then I missed. Okay, let's see if we can fly. <laughs> I should... Oh, man. All right, hello. Oh, yeah. All right, so here's what we want to do. We want to knock all the... No, keep that one. No. Okay. Okay. And we're going to have to go one, two... Let's take it up like that many more. Okay. Okay, and we can go. Yeah, that's probably better. Okay, let's try that. Now the big the other question is, is this where we want this? I think the answer is actually no. We need it to be a little bit further down the tracks because how are we gonna run stuff up there? No. Let's actually move it. I know. I'm we're supposed to be <laughs> supposed to be building something, and we're just messing around here. Okay, let me tear all this down. All right, so so at least we know what blocks we're going to use for like the vertical structures. We're going to have to figure out some complementary blocks to do like some supports because you just can't have it's just not going to be just like a ra random steel pillar like that. It's got to have some kind of supports. I do want to move this down here. I think we're going to start it like here. Yeah, that's where we're going to start it. So let me just get this thing back to the position that we were in a minute ago, and then I'll bring you back on the other side, and we'll figure out how we're going to get this thing laid out. Because the... Oh, yeah. Because the idea is what we're trying to load in this structure we're going to build is these, like, gondolas. Right, so the gondola comes in. It's got plenty of capacity. It pulls up underneath, like, a hopper system and gets filled up. I mean, hopper as in, like, a big funnel that the ore pours down through right not hopper like we're gonna build like with a chest and some iron right and then that hopper can be closed off essentially and then the, the it, we pull the train car forward a little bit more we fill the other piece of the gondola bay and then we head on down the tracks okay so let me get this thing moved around i'll be back with you in just a second Alrighty, my friends we are back okay so we've got ourselves sort of like um i don't know like a uh, skeleton frame of what we're going to do up here. So here's like, so this is sort of what these things look like in real life, right? It's just like a spindly kind of platform. We do have to put some structural supports in there, but we'll do that in just a second. It's kind of a spindly uh, construction sort of platform. And then on top of it is going to be this big hopper. And we can see we've already started there. Do I have my bed still down here by chance? Is there a bed here? That would, oh, there is. Okay. Let's actually move it. And we'll bring it down closer to where we're working. That way we can sleep on it before, like, thousands of mobs come rolling all around. So the idea being is this hopper is where 
the train car would park underneath of it, and then we could unload all the the granite waste kind of materials into the top of the gondola, and then the gondola would be full, and it can go on down the way, right? Okay. So, let's get back up here. And we'll build out the rest of this. This is going to be just like that. And this is going to be... Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> All right, let's go like so. Okay, and then this guy is just like that. And we should probably... Do we have a torch? Yes. Let's just put a couple torches in here just so we don't have to worry about mob spawning. Okay, and then this is going to go... so by the way we just updated our uh, vanilla patron server to 1.16.1 .1. uh, a couple things on that first of all it was as smooth as literally smooth could be man the folks over there bisect hosting i know you guys probably get tired of me talking about them <laughs> but man it was so so easy and flawless uh, to upgrade, literally, it was do a backup of the world and then update to 1.16 or 1.16.1, and which was already loaded. We didn't have to upload anything or configure anything and hit start, and the new patron server was up and running. If you want to get more details about Bisect Hosting or uh, my patron, the $5 a month tier gets you access to not only the vanilla Minecraft server, but also our modded Minecraft server, which uh, we're not sure exactly what we're going to convert it to, but hopefully that conversion is going to take place pretty soon. So anyway, um, there's links in the description box for all those awesome people that help me do the things that I do. Anyway, all right, so there's our hopper, all built. Now, we have to, we can't just leave it like this. I think what we'll do is we're going to raise this up like so. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll do the same thing here. I'm going to eat something. And then I want to sort of take a look at this and see. So then the other piece of this that we have to do is build some sort of mechanism to actually get the items into the hopper right so to load this thing up now obviously we're just we're using i mean it's it's the best thing about minecraft we're using our imagination for this stuff to work right that's how it is uh, and so we need to keep using our imagination on how do we get this stuff filled up in here so i think what we probably need to do one thing is this can now be like a big tank almost mm -hmm. that doesn't matter we're not going to go get it and we will just go like so. That's kind of what a hopper looks like, right? Uh, do we want to make it... Let's do this. Let's make this one like that. And then this one will raise up one. Okay. It's like the hatch on top. Okay. All right. Let's fly down. <laughs> that was the worst flying job ever. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm down. It doesn't have to be anything too fancy because the thing that we're going to build next is actually how we get that stuff up there into the hopper. Okay, so now I want to use a little bit of blackstone and see if we can get away with doing some of that. So we can make... Okay, I want to see which one do I like the best. Let's make one of each. Let's do a brick. Let's do a piece of polished. And that's... Okay, well, just one of these. All right, so here's bricks. Here's polished. I kind of like polished. Let's see what we get when we do polished stairs. Let's see what we get here. Yes. Okay. Perfect. I'm a little nervous about how much of a 45 degree angle this is going to be, but we have to figure out how we're going to get this in there. I love the way that, that that basalt looks. It absolutely, to me at least, it looks like weathered steel. I bet if you stacked it together... Yeah, or, better yet, if you did it like this, that, ab oh yeah, I'm down. We're going to use that for sure. That's some good siding material, I think, because I, you know, normally I don't like stuff that's got that line, but I think for this stuff, it actually works really good. Okay, so now, here's what we want to do. Let's uh, clear out this stuff. 
Okay, and let's climb up here. Where's my polished stuff? All right, I want to go here, and I want to get this, and I want to get a whole bunch of these. Like a stack. Okay, so now, let's climb up. I feel like this needs to be taller. I think what we're going to do... I don't know if you can hear that in the background. I'm recording this on uh, the 4th of July, and there's people in my neighborhood uh, shooting off fireworks. So I don't know if you can hear that random noise. Okay. All right, so now let's go up um, one, two. Let's see if we can go up two more and get all the way around. This needs to be like a little, like a little uh, taller, I think. Okay, and then hello. Do I not have any more polished? Okay. Okay. Now the big question is: is how do I get it? All right, so. I think what we need to do is we need to get the middle here. I'm going to upside down. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to stare like that. Okay. That's exactly what we want. All right. So now we're going to have to build some sort of like temporary scaffolding deal here. All right. So let's actually go. Okay. So we want that. Okay, I'm gonna go like that and like that. And like that. Okay. I do like the fact that this is wood. The wood, like, sort of wood texture. <laughs> but we don't have to use, like, our axe. We can use just one tool. Okay. And then we wanna go like that. Oh, this is going to come down. Okay, I think we're going to be okay. I don't know if we can reach it from the ground yet. Maybe. Let's see. Okay, and then we want to go here. Okay, and then I want to go like this. Perfect. And then what I would like to do is go underneath this. And I'll show you. We're gonna go. I'm gonna go off camera and work on this in just a second. But all these are gonna come out now. Right? And I want these to be this way. So that it makes it look like it's more substantial. And then okay, yeah, that's like step one. Alright. So let's see. How are we gonna do this? Okay, so that's gonna go like that. That's gonna go like that. See how that looks like it's it's actually a lot. It's kind of like the same deal we did with um, our crane there. Okay. And then we want to go like so, so. Okay, so this is going to be like the conveyor, right? That takes, I mean, obviously we can run up here. But this is going to be the conveyor that takes stuff up. Okay, do I still have some more? Yeah, I got tons of iron blocks. Okay, so now let's go, we'll throw like a junk block in here. Like this piece of sand. No, keep that. Piece of birch wood, sure. Okay, and then we can build our top. Of our big hopper. Why am I using uh, iron? Well, first of all, I, because I can. But also, because it's like a big tank-like thing. Even though it's not really a tank, really. But then we want to go like that. Okay, so now this guy can run like get some polished 
Oh no. Not that. We need polished black stone. Okay. Grab a couple of those. Now these guys. can run up the top of this and in okay perfect now so this is going to be like our conveyor belt that takes stuff up the reason i wanted to do it in black because conveyor belts are sort of usually like a black color all right so let's go sleep through the night and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill out the rest of this and then we've got to get some supports in which i think we're going to use like our makeshift steel beams right so we, we can go not sure exactly how to do this actually we'll do it like this Do them like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me get to work. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, I mean, I think we've got something that looks halfway decent. I'm just putting some iron bars on here. The thought being, if we had stuff like going up, the, going up this conveyor belt, right? We want to make sure we protect it from the sides. We don't need like a big chunk of rock or something falling off the edge. I mean, I think that looks perfect. Even though it doesn't really stop you from going over. <laughs> At least it gives us that feeling. Okay, so let's go take a look. So we've got our conveyor belt that runs all the way to the top. I put in some more of these big sort of steel girder supports. Oh, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, for sure, it even has that little bit of railing that goes across the top. Yeah, boy. So I could see, like, pieces of granite and stuff like that rolling up this thing. Okay, so now, let's go get real quick. I want to just do... Hmm, do I really care? Yeah, I think we do need to do it. Of course we care. We try to make our builds look awesome. I mean, we don't, we're sort of limited on the different things. And we could probably spend a lot of time decorating that, but I think it's perfect just the way it is. It needs to be sort of, uh, what's the word? Like utilitarian? Is that the right word? I think so. <laughs> All right, what was I over here to get? I was going to get a crafted items. I was going to see if I can find a sticky piston. Yes, I can. And then we're going to get a lever. Yes, we can. Okay. Should be good. Let's eat something. Have you ever noticed that, uh, we're going to go uh, off topic for just a second, but have you ever noticed that, you know, you don't really feel like doing something and then sometime it, you just have to get into it and then once you get into it, you start getting really like excited about the work that you're doing. Uh, that was sort of me tonight. I wasn't really feeling the whole like, let's make a video thing, <laughs> but we did it anyway, right? Uh, so, oh, this has to go back one more. And now I'm like in a really good mood. So and sometimes... You have to put in the work. All right, so let's go here like so. Yes. And then I think we can just put... I might just leave that that there. Okay. All right, I do want to get rid of these, though. Let's find a way to climb up here. Okay. Perfect. And then if we go like this... So that can extend out, right? That's how we want it to be all the time. And then if we need to open the hopper in our sort of imagination-fueled world, we go like so. And now stuff can cart out of there, which it just did. It's torches. <laughs> all right, and we close this thing back up. Yeah, now we can start loading again. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, so there we go. I think that is going to be a pretty good... Oh, I don't think... Oh, man, I don't think it needs to be anything more than that. And if... I think it looks great. I mean, like, I love it. <laughs> I mean, this was exactly what in my brain that we needed. The only thing that we might need, let's go over here and find, like, a different viewpoint to take a look at it. Yeah, without a doubt. So we're going to have to probably spend at least part of the next episode that we have together fixing our ramp a little bit. We may have to just shear some of it off right there and then we need to get some more of like this mis um, mismatched floor in because what would happen is i guess the dump truck i don't even know how we would get stuff in there we may have to figure out how we would actually get stuff into the hopper system to begin with because we can't necessarily i think what we need to have is a 
like a dump spot. Maybe we could just back the dump truck in there and we could dump in there. Yeah, that would work. Okay. And then there'd be some mechanisms in there like corkscrews or whatever it needs to be to get the stuff fed onto the conveyor belt, which then goes up. Yeah. So let's work on that maybe next time. If that's what we end up wanting to do, you know, we always have lots of projects going on. So, and I, I have decided that even though we want to make sure that we finish our projects, that we don't spend too much time working on any one because sometimes it makes us get kind of burned out. A little bit. I think it looks great. I think it looks really good. You know what I think we need? Oh, I think we need... Let's do... Let's make one more change. Not a change. Let's make uh, an enhancement. Uh, let's go find some stone bricks. Let's see. Stone building. Some of these right here is exactly what we need. I think we need to give a little bit more support to this hopper. I mean, it's going to be filled with rocks and stone and whoever, you know, it's, it's heavy. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to come in here like so. And I'm going to pillar up. And I'm going to go right here. And we're going to go one... Go over this way a little bit. But I'm boom. Okay, perfect. I love it. All right, let's do that on all the sides. And then I think we're going to call this thing a done deal, at least for now. You, If you guys, as always, if you have suggestions or super cool ideas that you think, hey, man, I think you should really do this and this will make it look awesome, please leave those comments in the comment section down below. You know I read every single one of them. No question. All right, go here, 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 here. Perfect. I wish we had basalt stairs. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. Polished basalt stairs. Come on, man. That would be amazing. It would look like we could definitely go crazy with our little steel theme. Okay, how are we going to do these? I don't know. Like, I really have uh, just tonight. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whoops. I, have, uh, I wasn't a big fan of basalt, but now I think I'm going to use basalt all over the place, especially in this type of build. Could you imagine if you had like some crazy like industrial, uh, I don't know, like a modern build? I mean, this without a doubt to me looks like steel because that's what color steel is. It's kind of a gray, a gray color. I think that, I think it looks great. I'm down. <laughs> Maybe I should say that a couple more times in this episode. I'm down with the basalt. All right, let's put these and put this like so. Now let's take a look at this guy and see. Ah, almost fell. Okay. Let's just go over here a little bit. Yeah, so that little bit of detail I think made, it, made a big difference. I don't think we need to cap those at the top. They could just be vertical like that. Man, I'm down. There's our hopper system to fill our gondolas with all the waste that we have from our granite mine. Come on, man. You gotta love it. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, oh here, whatever. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Sorry about the first two couple days there in July, man. I had to just... I had to just take a take a minute and but we're back. We're in good shape. Everything's all good in the neighborhood. And today we made an amazing hopper loading system for our gondolas over here by our granite mine. We got to load up all the waste products that are going to be coming out. Oh, it's amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my vanilla Minecraft Let's Play series, I guess we'll see you next time. Bye everybody.